Good morning, Kettle Kids. Welcome to your Thursday, May 12th. And today, I know you've all been waiting for it. You guessed it. It's National Odometer Day. Yeah, okay. So, odometers, what are they? They're a measuring device to tell distances. And they've been around since the uh, days as far back as I could find my little research there, about 30 BC. So, really, really old device, at least the mechanical ones that I could find. Uh, and they were originally just a cart with kind of an abacus device to count up how far you were going. Eventually, the Greeks added a layer to it and uh, actually made it so the device measured in liquid, which is actually considerably more accurate than the abacus. And then uh, Ben Franklin later on perfected it much further to the more recognizable dial setup that most of us would know that would just be attached in uh, onto a carriage or cart. The ones that we have now are almost exclusively in cars. So they're physical or digital devices that measure how far a car has traveled. Well, you might wonder, why is that important? Well, it lets you know how far you've gone. So maybe if your GPS breaks down, you don't know how to get, uh, or you know how far you've traveled. It lets you keep track in case you want to find out whether your engine's having any problems. Because if you can track how far you've traveled and the mileage you've traveled, you can actually know whether you've broken down. So please don't scoff at those uh, math teachers when they let you know uh, that arithmetic is really, really important. And then on top of that, uh, we've got cars that are extremely high mileage. You might wonder how far have cars traveled before uh, being, you know, like the highest mileage car out there. And there are many cars in the millions, but one of them takes the cake at well over 3 million miles traveled. That is a 1966 Volvo 1800S, because I know that was a burning question for you all. Uh, and really kind of funny aside, just check out that license plate. He actually got a vanity plate that says million miler, so that's kind of good. So knowing all that, let's find the flag in the room and please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. All right, you crazy kindleheads, let's figure out what we're having for lunch today. Today is turkey sandwich or chicken patty with bun, whipped potatoes, broccoli, mixed fruit, and milk. Well, what's going on with the weather? It is more of that gorgeous forecast going on right now. High of 70 degrees today. It's going to feel a lot warmer because of that bright, bright sunlight. Uh, but that cool lake breeze will keep us a little bit cooler in temperature from everywhere else inland that is going to be pushing much closer to the 80s today. Tomorrow is going to be much of the same, with a little bit more cloud cover. And then Saturday, sad to say, the thunderstorms roll in as the pressure fronts bump up against each other. And we're looking at a little bit of cooler air pushing in those storms. But the good news is Saturday's changed a little bit. Looks like less of a chance of regular rain throughout the day. A little bit more of those quick scattered storms. Sunday is a little bit more of a rain out. And then Monday uh, will be the rainiest day in the forecast and the coolest so far. With temperatures that are going to start dipping back into the 60s for next week. So it's still going to be comfortable. So, you know, the, the silver lining of this is that the weather, even though it's going to cool off, will not be bad at all. But for today, you cool cats better throw on those shades because it is going to be bright, sunny, and beautiful. Let's finish out the announcements of that Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is uh, to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I hope you guys have a terrific Thursday. And if I don't get a chance to see it, remember to stay colorful Kendall.